What's going on, Genius Nation? It's your man, Dr. Will, and you guys know the deal. Let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. Even if you're watching this on the replay, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscription button, hit the notification button, all the things that make the algorithm go pop. Welcome to Daily Insights with Dr. Will. I am Dr. Will. So happy Friday to you, wherever you are in the world. Let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. So on today's Daily Insight, guys, I want to talk to you about something that will um, add years, add years to your life add happiness to your life, um, make you in general a more happy individual. So as you guys are coming in, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. And let's get into today's insight. So today I want to talk to you about doing something for yourself. That's right. Today we're talking about you doing something for yourself. Usually we're always talking about how we can serve, how we can give, how we can make an impact, how we can reach others, how we can um, serve others. But today I want to talk to you about serving you. I talk to so many people that neglect themselves. They're so invested in helping everybody else. They're so invested in ensuring everybody else lives the lifestyle that they want to live. They're so invested in empowering others that they forget to empower themselves. You know, I have the opportunity to travel a lot. I've been on airplanes a whole lot. And um, it always fascinates me when uh, the flight attendant comes on and they make that one statement in case of emergency put your mask on first in case of emergency put your mask on first and i can imagine if there's maybe a child around you if there's maybe uh an elderly person around you the natural proclivity would be to help them to assist them but the instructions are put your mask on first. And why is that? Because while you're attempting to help other people, you can die in the process. And I see so many people, that's what happened to them. They don't die, you know, physically, but they die spiritually and mentally. They're so drained because they don't do anything for themselves. So I want you, you know, as we close out this year and as we go into a new year and as we're getting ready to head into the holiday season, even now, so many people are stressed out because they're trying to do stuff for other people, whether it's kids, whether it's family, whether it's parents, whatever. But I want you, especially, you know, this weekend, it's Christmas. I want you to take a moment. And if it's just buying yourself a ice cream cone, if it's just going to drive and, and, and take yourself uh, for a little walk or something like that, maybe it's going to buy your favorite little treat, whatever, whatever that may be. I want you to do something for yourself this weekend. And then I want you to make a commitment going into the new year that you're going to take better care of you, that you're going to take better care of yourself, that you are going to take the time out to do something for you. You know, one of the things I always um, ask my clients when they sign up to work with me, one of the questions on the questionnaire is, When's the last time you've been on a vacation and how many vacations do you have planned this year? And so many times people come in and they say, man, I can't remember. 
the last time I went on vacation. And that's not the life you want to live. I keep telling you guys, listen, if we're fortunate, if we're blessed, if we're grace, we get we get 80 years on this planet. So what are you saving it up for? You know, um, I know when we work in, you know, a traditional nine to five corporate America, whatever we have, like what we call we save up these leave days. And I remember talking to a gentleman before and he was so happy that he had saved up like a hundred, a hundred vacation days. And I asked him, I said, what are you, <laughs> what, what are you going to do with that? But, you know, if, if you die tomorrow, who gets your vacation days? What, what are you going to do with it? And so take some time out for yourself. Do something for yourself. Do something in the midst of trying to help and empower everybody else. Do something for yourself. That's my insight for you today. It will increase your happiness. I believe it will decrease your stress and possibly add years on to your life. Self-care is so very important. Self-care is so very important. So as we go into this holiday weekend, I want to wish everybody in Genius Nation a very, very uh, Merry Christmas or whatever you're celebrating this weekend, this month. I wish you a happy one. I wish you a pleasant one from literally everybody that tunes in all around the world. I greatly appreciate you. I have so much gratitude for you that you would share this time each morning with us inside uh, the nation. I'm excited about the new year. Stay tuned for some exciting uh, news that are coming forth in the new year about what we're going to be doing inside the nation, how we're going to support you even more going forward. So have a happy holiday weekend. I'll see you back here Monday morning inside the nation. Go out there today. Be your most amazing self. Um, be careful out there as you're shopping. This is the time where um, some of our members of society that are up to no good, they look to disrupt uh, our happiness. So as you're going out there uh, shopping this weekend and hanging out, just be vigilant. You know, when I was in the army, we used to have this phrase, stay alert, stay alive. So um, unfortunately, there are people out there that's going to be trying to take advantage of people. So just make sure um, that you're staying vigilant and looking around your surroundings, checking your car, look inside your car before you get inside your car. Um, let your families know as they're going out to be just very careful. We, we don't want anyone to have a disruptive um, holiday weekend. Be as safe as possible out there. Uh, don't stress yourself out. You know, um, uh, remember the purpose of the season a good, a good Christmas is not a Christmas that you can go and spend a lot of money on toys and things like that. A great Christmas is being surrounded by people you love, uh, doing things that you enjoy. That's a good Christmas. Uh, don't put pressure on yourself. For those of you who have small children, listen, your kids live good the whole year. You provide for them 365 days out the year. So don't don't let one day determine what type of parent you are. Don't let one day determine, you know, how you provide. You provide uh, 365 days. So don't put that pressure on you, right? Don't put that pressure on you. This should just be a time of joy, a time of reflection, and a time of love and laughter. So with that, go out there and have an amazing day. Go out there and dominate. And I'll see you back here Monday morning inside the nation, guys.